Hello guys. In this series, I'm going to show you how I made an LED matrix controller board version 1 using KiCad 5.0 with homemade PCB technique. This series is made of three parts, one in which I'll be explaining how to make your own PCB or motherboard at home. The second will be soldering components on the printed circuit board and show it running. The last one will be showing the final result and combining the board with the LEDs where the whole project is ready to be used. Before starting, I would ask you to subscribe and click on the notification bell for the future updates, if you haven't yet. As I'm using KiCad 5.0, I have put the USB Type-B connector in the circuit for easily programming the microcontroller with a custom USB to serial converter cable. And on the PCB layout I used two different tracks, one with 0.25, another with 0.5 mm square for the cross section. I respected all the connections that would facilitate me adding jumpers and not vias because the PCB I have is a single layer. This is how it looks in 3D. Finally, after having set up all the connections, I was ready to print the whole board connections using the laser jet printer. And make sure that before printing, the PCB should be in mirrored view. After that, I took the copper clad laminate with the same measurement of the circuit. I cleaned it with the aluminium coil to remove the unwanted top layer until I was able to see the wanted layer zone. We use heat transfer method to attach the track to the copper board, therefore we will need the electrical iron for the heat transfer process. The copper clad was fully heated around 10 to 15 minutes and got sent into water until the paper got wet to facilitate in removing the unwanted regions. This is how it looks from water. So to remove the unwanted copper substance, I made a solution of sulfuric acid with a half hydrogen peroxide in a single container and dissolved the copper clad in the solution to keep the black tracks which are the wanted tracks. The process took 8 hours. The duration depends upon your solution. And finally, I got the desired and full motherboard. In this process, you have to know that not all the tracks are going to be perfectly conducting. So in that case, I managed to use my hot air station to apply the soldering paste on the whole PCB. There are three roles of doing this. The first one is to facilitate the components to get attached perfectly to the PCB. The second role is to apply the solder on the tracks to increase a better conduction. The least is to protect the PCB against rust.
As you see, mine wasn't that perfect because of a lot of solder on the tracks, but essentially we'll get the circuit running. And we'll also make some recommendations if you want the very perfect result. So let's meet in the second part to solder the components on this PCB and run it.